Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Today you will learn chapter 4, Laplace Transform. In this chapter, you will learn how to find Laplace Transform using table using prop and using properties of Laplace Transform. And then you will learn how to find inverse of Laplace Transform using table and using properties of inverse Laplace Transform. And last one, you will learn how to solve initial value problem using Laplace transform. Okay, Laplace transform convert one function to another function that may not be in the same domain. So, using Laplace transform, you will change from domain T to domain S. Okay, this method applies in mathematical problems which cannot be solved directly. And then we will use this method to solve initial value problem that cannot be solved using the previous method that you have learned in chapter 2 and also chapter 3. Okay, Laplace transform solve the equation by transforming the equation in T space to S space. So we want to change from T to S. So look at the diagram here. So we want to change from Ft to Fs by using Laplace. It can be another function of t such as gt. So gt, we want to change to gs. Okay, using Laplace. Or maybe we have ht and using Laplace, we change to hs. Look at here. Small h to big h. Okay, to transform using Laplace, you, you will use table of Laplace transform and also properties of Laplace transform which are linear, first shift and multiplying by Tn. And then from Fs, you can change back to Ft using inverse, inverse of Laplace transform. This is the operator for inverse. To change from S to T, we can use table and also properties of inverse Laplace transform, which are linear, first shift, and last one is rational function. Okay, let's learn how to find Laplace transform using table. This is table of Laplace transform. Okay, look at the table. We have a function of F T. This is this column is for function of ft and this is the corresponding fs. Okay, so we want to change from ft to fs. Okay, very easy. Okay, so a here, a and b are constant. Okay, look at example 1. You find the Laplace transform for the following function. So we want to find Laplace transform using table. Okay, please copy this example and make sure you have this table of Laplace transform with you. Okay, look at question A when ft equal to 2. So from your table, you will use uh, formula 1. Okay, when ft is A, A is constant. So A equal to 2. So, Fs is A over S. So, Fs will be 2 over S. So, Laplace of 2. Okay, this is how you write uh, operator for Laplace. Equal to 2 over S. Okay, look at question B. When Ft equal to T square. So, you will use a formula 2 for t power of n. First, determine n. So, for this question, n equal to 2. So n equal to 2. So Fs equal to n factorial. So, 2 factorial divided by s2 plus 1. So, 2 factorial, use your calculator. 2 factorial is 2 Divide by S power of 3. So, Laplace of T square is 
2 over s cube. Okay, question C, ft equal to exponent. So for exponent, you will use formula 3. First determine, we have a here. a is 5. So fs is 1 over s minus a. a is 5. So Laplace of exponent 5t equal to 1 over s minus 5. For question D, ft equal to sine 3t. So from table, you will use formula 4. So determine a. a is 3. a is 3. So fs equal to 3 over s square plus a is 3 square. So Laplace of sine 3t equal to 3 over s square plus 9. Okay, look at question E. Ft equal to cos 40. Okay, for cos, you will use formula 5. So determine A. A is 4. A equal to 4. So Fs equal to s over s square plus 4 square. So Laplace 4 cos 40 equal to s over s square plus 16. Okay, for question F, cos 1 over 2t. So for cos, you, you will use uh, formula 7. So determine A. A is 1 over 2. 1 over 2. So Fs equal to S over S square minus 1 over 2 square. Okay, Laplace for cos. 1 over 2t equal to s over s square minus 1 over 4. Okay, look at example 2. Find the Laplace transform for the following functions. So, we have a. So, a, ft is exponent multiplied with cos. When you see your table, you will see formula 9. Exponent multiply with cos. So, you can use table. So, ft. So, we have ft equal to exponent negative t cos 60. Okay. Then, determine. So, exponent a t. Okay. A equal to negative 1. And then, we have cos b t. So, B equal to 6. The answer is this one, Fs. So, Laplace of exponent negative T cos 60 equal to S minus A. So, X minus A is negative 1. Please put the bracket. Divide by S minus A is Negative 1, okay, square, plus B square, B is 6, so 6 square, and then simplify. So, Fs equal to S plus 1, divided by S plus 1, square, plus 36. Okay, look at question B, where exponent multiply with sine. So, when you refer table, you will see exponent multiply with sine. Okay. So, write down the function. Ft equal to 2 exponent to sine 1 over 2 t. We want to find the plus of 2 exponent to t sine 1 over 2 t. Okay, factor out constant. Okay, from here, find your answer using table. Okay, exponent a t. So, a is 2. 
Multiply with sin B T. Okay, B is 1 over 2. So, the answer is 2. Multiply with, this This is the answer. B over, so B is 1 over 2 over S minus A. S minus 2 square plus 1 over 2 square. And then simplify. Okay, multiply, we get 1 over S minus 2 square plus 1 over 4. Look at question C where ft is function of t multiplied with exponent. When you refer table, you will see formula 10. t multiplied with exponent. So ft equal to t exponent negative 2t. Okay, define the constant first. We have t power of n. So n equal to 1. Then we have exponent a t. So a equal to negative 2. A plus of t exponent negative 2t equal to n factorial. So 1 factorial divided by s minus a. a is negative 2. Power n plus 1. n is 1. 1 plus 1. So simplify. We get 1 factorial is 1. 1 over s plus 2. Divide uh, power of 2.